Welcome. In front of me is a Ledger Nano X, and today I will show you how to add the XRP currency uh, wallet to the Ledger. So, uh, to get started, you will need to either use a, uh, a computer for this or a phone. It honestly doesn't matter which one. Uh, it can be any kind of operating system on your computer and uh, Android or iOS, it really doesn't matter. For Android or iOS, obviously, you will need to download the application through the App Store or Play Store. And on your computer, you can just simply navigate to the website, which was provided on the ledger itself at the beginning. But it's basically ledger.com, I believe. And from there, look for the uh, program that you need to get. Now, once you have it, you can simply open it up. If you never went through connecting it before, or connecting your device to it, you will need to go through that. Now, if you're using a computer, I'll probably mention this right now. I did kind of forget to do that before. Uh, on your computer, you'll most likely need to connect the ledger to your device, assuming you don't have a Bluetooth connectivity on your computer. If you do, uh, it should basically be as painless as it is on here. So, once it's connected, you can then go into the Manage category, um, select your device, give it a moment, a uh, painfully long process right here, and from there it will show you your ledger along with all the install, installed wallets on it along with the amount of storage you have left on it and you can also manage your installed wallets right here and install new ones as you can see there is plethora to choose from obviously there is more wallets to choose from than you actually have uh, space for them so that's a little bit of a shame considering the size of this thing but anyway, let's get going with adding the XRP to it. So find it in the list. Uh, it's one of the more popular ones, so it's going to be somewhere at the top of the list. As you can see, it's right here for me. So I'll simply click on install. Now this is 60 kilobytes. So even though technically 60 kilobytes is basically nothing, uh, it's going through Bluetooth and it's going painfully slow, as you can see. So just give it a half a minute or so, and it should be right about done at that time. And additionally, I'll mention that right now we're only installing the XRP wallet to the ledger. We still don't have any kind of wallet address assigned to it. So once this is done installing, it will actually give you a pop-up where you can select to create a wallet. And there we go. As you can see, there is the pop-up. So I'm going to quickly go over this, add account, and then find the XRP account or wallet. Select your ledger. Now on the ledger itself, you will see that it pops up uh, open app XRP. So you need to click both of those buttons to confirm it. And we get another painfully long uh, loading time. And there we go. As you can see, there is the wallet itself. Select continue and go to account. And right here, you can see it right somewhere in your list, assuming you have only one, uh, then there will be only one, but I have a couple of them. So anyway, from here you can select uh, the wallet itself, receive, and here just to save on time, I'm going to select uh, continue without my device, which will give you access to the wallet address right over here. And that's basically it. So you're all set by now. So anyway, if you found this video really helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.